You know, I haven't played this game in a very, very long time, and I feel like for good reason. Most of it just feels like a waste of time. Because it is. <coughs> if you're new to this game, it's about playing in World War II, picking your nation, and going against others. Essentially role-playing as a World War II general or World War II political leader. Or like. However, I, I don't really think it's doing a good job at that. Mostly it just LARPers trying to play as their favorite dictator and pretending that, oh my god guys, look at me, I would be such a good general in real life, I would totally not kill thousands of people unnecessarily. There is no other nation that is outside of Germany, okay? There is only one nation that you need to play and that is Germany. Not France, not Poland, not Romania or fucking Albania, no, Germany. You only need to play Germany. To be incredibly honest with all of you, I have not played this game in literal years. Meaning that I have not looked at the YouTube videos, which are all horrible by the way. Yeah, I am being serious. I did not play this game, so I pretty much don't know half the shit that I'm looking at. So there are apparently railways now, which should have been in the base game now that I think about it. When it comes to research, I completely forgot it, so don't even ask me. I have no fucking idea. Also, when it comes to like production management and division templates, most people just think that they know everything and then they apply it to the game and wow, guys, look at me, I'm so much better than all of you. Like, who cares? It's a fucking game. See, the thing that the game is vastly different, but it's still reminiscent enough that I actually know what I'm doing. When it comes to intelligence agencies, I don't really remember a lot of them. I know that you could like activate bonuses for your soldiers like that's how it would work in real life yeah things change a lot wow one thing that i never got is that why do people take this so seriously it's a game if you find fun in being the most efficient being the absolute best player of them all and sure that's absolutely your stuff but when it comes to a single player game or just in general playing hearts mind 4 non-professionally why would you even care about efficiency when the number one thing that a game should provide is fun. I'm sorry, but I never fucking got that. Oh, here comes the bullshit. So what uh, meta warriors will do is come here, send volunteers, usually tanks, and then train them on the battlefield like it's the best thing in the entire universe. Would you die already, please? Also, we're winning the war. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, and there's bullshit. Okay, so this is where the Soy Jacks spawn. This is the Reddit part of this entire game. This is where people lose their fucking minds or the most minuscule shit. So what I remember, at least if I'm correct, the combat width should be 20. Now, I don't know how this is realistic. I don't know how this actually correlates with any sort of realism in the game. But you know what, we'll just go with it. So it needs to be 20 width, and you also need artillery, if I remember correctly. I'm going to be adding in artillery that's going to buff it to 21, but that's bad. Wait, I'm going to be figuring this shit out. Okay, so let's go with something like this. Again, I'm not an expert in this game, nor I want to be. This is just what I perceive as good. So, fuck off. Guys, guys, look, guys, new encirclement. This is going onto Reddit. What's up, guys? It's Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> I have been arrested for multiple crimes, <laughs> including battery on a police officer, what? grand theft, declaring war on Italy, and public indecency. <laughs> I will be escaping prison on March 28th. After that, I will take over the world. <laughs> Greetings, Quandale Dingle here. <laughs> My cousin Henry Bartholomew Dinglenut <laughs> got arrested for putting a TNT in a daycare center. <laughs> Put a camera in Joe Biden's bathroom and watched him take a poop. What? 
My Asian brother, Quan Ling Ling Dingle, put illegal substances in my ramen and I die. <laughs> hey, fellas, it's Quan Dale Dingle here. <laughs> I put perks in Vladimir Putin's drink, and he went to bed for a really long time. <laughs> How can I check on wars now? Because, like, I remember back then you... That, that was just this button somewhere that you click, and then you could actually check the wars. Like, okay, okay, that's how you do it now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's not very good, Spain. That's not very fucking good, you communist fuck. <sighs> you can't even mob them up. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. That was fucking useless. All right. Genius. Also, I feel like one of the problems with Hearts of Iron 4 is that it's incredibly repetitive. Like, you play a game once, and even though every single time something different happens, just something that's inherently the same about it. Like, yeah, sure, conquering the entire world for the first time feels fun, I guess. I mean, not the end of it. But you do the exact same thing, and then those actions start becoming really repetitive. I haven't played this game in ages, and I can tell you that pretty much nothing changed. So, yeah, that's another reason why I don't really play this game anymore. Yes, land. We're hungry though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I remember this feature of the game being incredibly shit. And if I'm not mistaken, it's worse than just like manually assigning all of them to the border. But let's see if it improved over the years. I really sure hope that it did. <coughs> okay, now here comes the fun part of the game that we actually came for. War. So if I'm correct, Poland is going to die, and it's going to be a pushover. Uh, so let's see, I have hopefully everything set up. Again, this is my knowledge of a couple of years of experience, but again, I have not played the recent update, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing for the most part. Yep, they are a, a pushover. <laughs> they, they are. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Italy. Ah, that's... Okay, you know what? I ca I kind of get why people like this. It's it's fun, okay? But at the same time, it's it's also got a fucking win. Now let's watch Poland die, slowly but surely. Well, that was pretty fucking easy, and also pretty sad to watch. Oh, who cares? It's a fucking game. I don't really think that there is a meaning to the game anymore because, yes, you could pick the more realistic option, but why would you do it if you could pick an option that's not as realistic but gives you more bonuses and makes the game easier? It's something that I don't really get because for role-playing purposes you might pick the more realistic version, but again, why when it doesn't apply to the game's logic? Okay, so I kind of fucked around with the division templates. Now. I, I'm not over 400 pounds, so I'm not an expert in this, but hopefully this is an okay division. Same with the infantry one. Uh, it's old school, I don't know, this is what I learned was good, so fuck yourself. Anyway, now that Poland's dead, we have to take out these people, which is going to be rather long and also pretty cringe. But I mean, it's France, you, <laughs> we just have to pair drop in Paris. This is the button to capitulate them, guys. Let's just look at me, Hector. Also, what I hate is that you can only draw front line to one specific country. There should be an option that lets you draw front lines to various countries because, you know, if you're planning a war against multiple countries, it would be beneficial to be able to draw in the Netherlands and then through Belgium as well. Also, our air game is not up to date, as you can see. You're losing a lot of airplanes, and that is kind of sad, also few. But it's fine, we can mitigate that later. So my strategy, considering that I dumb when it comes to this game, is to just spam anti-air and then starve their fucking units. Hopefully that's, that can work. Because they are dying, like if you look at it, we are killing them. This, they're killing us disproportionately higher. Okay, not really anymore because of more anti-air, but still. So I can see this working out, don't worry. Oh. That is awesome. They are actually not guaranteed. Could I just like kill them? No, because it it just popped. God damn it. Holy shit! Okay, you know what? Wow. <laughs> what? 
That was rather easy. That, that was really fucking easy. Let you, let you just go around them, seriously. <laughs> you know what? This is kind of fun, I have to admit. Oh yeah, they don't have any air support. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Oh, but we finally have air support routine over there. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a very wholesome and awesome encirclement. We need more resources, Soviets. Italy, fucking do something, please. Come on, France, die. Swiss? What the fuck are the Swiss doing here? I told you it was a bad idea to call the Italians in. Oh, we got Paris, though. There you go. There you go. And we made it. Okay, so invading Britain is still as easy as I thought. Okay, so that didn't fucking change. What is that noise? Shut up. Oh, they joined our... I don't care. They don't feel something. Why can't I fucking troll them? Oh, no, I cannot. Yeah, be fucking aggressive and just, you know, fucking kill them. This is getting ridic ridiculously easy. Didn't even do shit for fucking years to this goddamn game. The oh, fuck off, you're doing nothing. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, you can actually fuck with Italy. Just by taking lands like this. Because I, I want to take as much as humanely possible from this peace deal. Also, this changed drastically. Wow. Italy, what the fuck? Anyways, we defeated the Allies, and I also did a little grinding of camera and defeated Luxembourg. Truly, the greatest menace of the Allies. We could potentially kill the Soviet Union, but I really don't want to. I'm not going to be disturbing Mr. Stalin of his little circle jerk session, so I'm just going to let him live. Not because I cannot defeat them, but because I don't want to spend, uh, let's say, five hours trying to kill this big dumbass nation. So, yeah. Anyways, that was the video. If you liked it, good. Fuck off. Going to be making another one in a few days. Bye.